When I was about 12 my parents got into a fight at one of those Christmas tree lots, and so it was decided that there would be no Christmas tree in our house that year. Christmas Eve rolls around and my dad, clearly upset that there is no tree, leaves the house around 2 p.m. We all know he is headed to the bar. No big deal. Except it starts to get late. We make ham and all the trimmings, wait until about 9 p.m., then eat. 10 p.m. No dad. 11 p.m. No dad. My mom calls the bar to check on when he is coming home. They say he left hours ago. Seriously starting to worry that something horrible happened to my dad on Christmas. My mom decides to go look for him, while my brother, sister, and I try and get some sleep. Around midnight, we hear the garage door open, then horrible crunching sound. My brother, who at the time is around six, starts yelling, Santa, and runs around the house. Not Santa. Just dad. Dad drags a sad looking tree into the house. It's dropping pine needles everywhere. Branches broken all over it. Tries to set it up in our living room using a stand, but the base is too long. He goes to the garage and gets the rustiest looking hand saw I've ever seen. Tries to cut the base, proceeds to almost sever two of his fingers. He is rushed to emergency room by my mom where they are able to reattach his fingers. Wake up Christmas morning to an almost naked tree propped against the wall and blood everywhere. Oh, and that horrible crunch I mentioned. He drove his car into the garage while the tree was strapped to the top. Breaking the garage door. TLDR, my drunk dad most likely stole a tree on Christmas Eve, ended up in the emergency room and broke the garage door for good measure. My sister and I stayed up really late Christmas Eve. We removed all of our youngest brother's presents from under the tree. We emptied his stocking. We stowed all the presents behind the couch. We put all of his stocking stuffers in a bag. He was like eight years old. We meticulously wrapped and put bows on boxes to him. We filled them with charcoal briquettes and Q-tips. On Christmas morning he got to go first because he was the youngest. He tore into his first box and then his face just dropped. He went out of turn and ripped open present number two. Also coal and Q-tips. He ran into the other room where the stockings were and dumped his out. It was a plastic bag filled with charcoal and Q-tips. He lost it. My parents had no idea what we'd done. I think my dad was ready to just beat us for ruining Christmas. So my brother finally got it together and we showed him where we stashed all his toys and where we put his stocking contents. He was happy as hell after that. To this day, probably 25 years later, I still get called the Christmas Grinch by my whole family. Everyone conveniently forgets how complicit my sister was in this. Those presents didn't wrap themselves, and I suck at wrapping. You're a terrible person, and I feel obligated to disown you. I wish I had thought of that. Two years ago, I decided I was going home for Christmas for the first time in 10 years. My grandfather had just had massive heart surgery to install an LVAD and had been in the hospital since the beginning of November. By some sort of miracle he was released from the hospital the day before I arrived and for the first time in 10 years every member of my family was together on Christmas Day. My grandfather started crying while we were opening present. He said, This is the best present I could have ever asked for, and I wasn't sure I would live to have all of my girls in the same place again. He's the only man in the family. I've never seen my grandfather cry before and all of us started crying because we were so happy. Now two years later we are trying to do it again, in two weeks my grandparents will be celebrating 50 years together, and if I can get enough money together we'll all be there to surprise them. <laughs>